another edition of A Preacher and His Work. We have so many great gospel preachers across our country and around the world, and this is our way of helping you get to know them just a little bit better. We're broadcasting from Polishing the Pulpit with this episode, and it is so good to be a part of this work, and it is so good to have Brother Ben Phillips with us. Ben, I appreciate you being with us. Thanks, Jimmy. Good to be here. Uh, where are you currently working? In Hampton, Virginia, at the Peninsula Church of Christ. I've been there a while, but we've recently merged uh, with smaller congregation into Peninsula, uh, the Hampton congregation. We're working toward that, and it's a blessing to be there. Absolutely. Well, that's, that's great news. Um, how long have you been in ministry total? Been with Peninsula 14 years, and that's since finishing preaching school. Uh, All right. But preached my first sermon at 16. I'll be 35 in a few days, so uh, nearly 19 years since I first uh, stepped into the pulpit, and it's been a blessing. Well, I'm very thankful that you did. Uh, along those lines, what motivated you to go into ministry? Well, I was actually part of an organization called Future Business Leaders of America, FBLA. Most people might know it as. And I was doing public speaking and doing competitions and such like that. And Brother Don Blackwell, who GBN folks will know very well, he actually asked me one day, he was preaching at the Broad Street Congregation in Statesville, North Carolina, where I was. He said, have you ever thought about using that for God? And that was the first time that anyone had said, you have something you're doing. You could do this for the Lord. Why don't you? And uh, as a young man, it, it was a question that made me go back and kind of spin the wheels a little bit and eventually decide, okay. And he, in essence, didn't leave me much of a choice on the preaching part of it for a little bit. He, he said, I'm going to help you write your first sermon. And that was that. And uh, wrote my first sermon on baptism way too long and way too bad, but all of the rest is history, so to say. <laughs> well, I'm certainly thankful that you got into ministry. And I know you're doing a tremendous work up there in Virginia. Thank you. And um, the last question that I have, and, and for me, it's one of the most important questions that mm -hmm. I, can, I can ask. It's this, when you look at the world, mm -hmm. when you look at the community that you work in, as a minister, what's the one message? If you could just share one message with the world, what would that one message be? The community I work in has a lot of pain and suffering. There's a lot of poverty in the area. There's a lot of folks who just don't have a lot. And it is a difficult road for a lot of them. And there's a lot of discouragement. There's a lot of frustration. Uh, sometimes it's taken out on each other. Sometimes it's taken out toward the government and others. And it, it's a challenging thing for a lot of folks to deal with. And the message that I would have is that in Christ are the greatest riches. You know, so many of us, especially in our Western society, are seeking, pursuing wealth, whether it's in homes or in cars or in bank accounts or in uh, recreation and activities. Uh, we want these experiences and we're willing to pay richly for them. And yet we don't necessarily always put the same emphasis upon our souls, right? Yeah, right. And Jesus, beginning in Matthew 6, verse 19, of course, told us that we ought to lay up treasure in heaven and not on earth. The things that we have here, they're passing. And all these pursuits are passing. And whether you have much or you have little, the beauty of a relationship with God is that in Christ there is much to be had. And treasure can be laid up in faithful living whether in much or in little. And it's such a, such a needed thing for us to focus back upon the Christ, back upon the God who created us, and not so much upon all these things that are around us. That's right. And you know, when you look at that, it reminds us that it's only in God that we can have something eternal. Oh, absolutely. Well, Ben, I appreciate you being with us. Well, thank you, Jimmy. I appreciate you being with us. I look forward to being with you next time on A Preacher and His Work. To God be the glory, great things. The preceding program was a production of the Fort Payne Church of Christ TV studio located in Fort Payne, Alabama.